Hello everyone and good evening. Here is my, I guess, uh, October trade craft, though, to be honest, I'm running about a week late. Uh, this, I got sick one and then two, this was kind of a bear, um, but this is an airship uh, that was requested for Roger and uh, I'm really, really proud of it, but this was a lot of trial and error and a lot of learning and I'm really sad to see it go and I definitely will be making one for myself especially since I kind of worked out some of the uh, the better ways to do things through trial and error with this one because I ran into a lot of bumps especially because I'm not a precise person um, I don't measure well um, so the kind of nitty gritty of actually mapping it out was interesting. Uh, so let me go ahead and give you a little quick look. I have a little wooden base with two holes drilled in it with dowels that I uh, glued into the bottom of the base. And this is actually kind of a three layer ship. It's kind of um, a modified 2.5D. So. I have the top of the ship here that pops off and you have the two doors here with a little plastic glass window and the doors open and this is supposed to be the captain's quarters so I did kind of a nice green color so you can be playing on top or inside and take it around the back so you can kind of see back of the ship. Then up here, this also comes off. And you can see the little stairway down. This little door opens too, though not as much. This was the first one I made. I learned a lot making this door and made the others a little bit better. And I have the little portholes. I actually use glass beads from the dollar store in them. So they're actually glass, which makes for a really cool effect. Um, and this is just, um, pink insulation foam and then the walls are dollar store foam core. The hatch actually opens. So you've got all that. That goes back on. Then, let me pull back a little bit. I originally was going to have this be a three layer ship. Um, but for time I actually had to reduce it down to a two layer ship. So here's the inside or the second floor, nothing super fancy. Um, but to make it a little more versatile and if the wings were getting in the way, I made it where the wings are magnetized. So they just come off. Just have a magnet and a washer that they stick to. And so the wings are removable um, in case you even wanted to kind of play with it more as a regular ship. And to help keep all the pieces on, I don't know if we can see, but I have inserts so that they sit snugly and they can't like slide around. And so you can have several different layers of play. I'm just I'm really proud of this. Um, the only real expense that I had in making this was buying the little wooden plaque and with a coupon at Michael's that came out to about three dollars. Uh, I did almost use a whole bottle of gold paint and I went through quite a few of these little wooden cutouts that I bought at Michael's previously um, to kind of make some of the more decorative elements and then gears and tubes. I tried to make it look like it was already flying. Um, and then I tried an experiment with using contact paper that you would line shelves with and drawing the planks on to see if that would save me some time with painting. Didn't really, don't recommend it. It smudges really badly too. I would just say draw it on and paint it. Uh, it's easier to dry brush all this than to do the contact paper. But once again, it was an experiment. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to get this out to Roger and see what he thinks and um, 
really proud of this. This is definitely outside of my normal wheelhouse of things to do. Um, and I just so happen to have little cannons that are the perfect size, so I'm putting them in there too. Um, and I capped off the tubes with the little gears and used them around the, the glass beads to make it look more like portholes. And the gears actually make a really great steering or steering wheel. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, yeah. So that is my airship. I will probably make another one and it will probably be more elaborate um, because I'll have one more time to really put some thought into it. Um, so it's probably part one. I will definitely be making a ship in the future for myself. Thanks guys. Bye.